له دعوة الحق With the NBA season only just beginning, we take a look at three of NBA's most famous Muslim players, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. He first became curious in Islam after his college basketball coach gave him the autobiography of Malcolm X. During his rookie year with the NBA, he started reading the Quran and soon after converted to Islam. In 1996, he was suspended for refusing to stand for the national anthem. You can't be for God and be for uh, oppression. After negotiating with the NBA, he agreed to return. However, this time, he chose to recite a prayer during the anthem instead. This decision nevertheless eventually led to him being sidelined at the peak of his career and lost him millions of dollars he would have otherwise made. Hakim Olajuwon. He was born as a Muslim in Nigeria and grew up in an Islamic environment. He would study the Quran every day, reading it in airplanes and before and after his games. He would also fast Ramadan, even when it fell in playing season. He surprisingly even felt that he played better when fasting and in February 1995, which also coincided with Ramadan, he won NBA Player of the Month. In 1994, he led his team to win the championships and was named MVP. He however chose to auction off his championship ring due to Islam's prohibition on men wearing gold. The following season, upon winning the championship yet again, the NBA offered him a platinum ring, yet he auctioned that off as well. When asked what his favorite verse in the Quran was, he replied, O you who believe, if you obey and fear God, he will grant you a criterion to judge between right and wrong and expiate for your sins and forgive you. And Allah is the owner of a great bounty. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He converted to Islam after also being inspired by the autobiography of Malcolm X while in college. He also changed his name from Lou Alcindor to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in 1971 as a symbol of his newfound identity. By going public with his conversion, he believed that he was adding his voice to the civil rights movement to denounce slavery and the religious institutions that supported it. Despite this, he states that he was drawn to the spiritually fulfilling personal aspects of Islam rather than the political. His conversion upset many of his friends and family who felt he was rejecting his American culture, but he in fact felt that he was only reconnecting with his African roots and abandoning the ways and ideologies of his former slave masters. In 1972, he traveled to both Libya and Saudi Arabia to study Arabic and learn the Quran for himself. May Allah bless all these inspirational men, along with the many other NBA Muslim players that are staying true to their faith. Ameen.